Speaker left, and it's uh, Lee Kennedy. He's going to be talking about, I, I um, said it incorrectly before, it's the Republican Adherence Committee that was just implemented by the Lexington County GOP. Thanks. All right, uh, first off, I'm not a member of the RAC. Uh, I have been uh, in contact with Steve Isom since uh, he came up with it and been talking about it and talking to other people about it, uh, both in the party and about uh, activists and such. And there are some concerns here and there, and uh, I think most of the concerns have been completely unfounded because uh, I'm fully behind what it's about. And I'll explain here exactly what it's about. Um, there are, uh, I think we got, what, four members of the RAC committee here. I'll mention them in a minute. Uh, but they are taking a lot of their personal time going to these meetings and thinking and criticizing and reading and understanding all this legislation. There's a lot involved there. And uh, I really respect them for taking the time to do this. What I want to do is kind of give an outside opinion of it. I am in the uh, Republican Party in Lexington County, executive committeeman for Red Bank. And uh, I introduced a resolution recently to clarify, and hopefully, because uh, I like this idea, to perpetuate the, uh, the Republican Adherence Committee. Essentially what it is, is a check valve. Uh, the idea is if there's any legislation somebody wants to uh, have, us, have them take a look at, uh, they will look at it and essentially if it, you know, if there's no problem as far as how it looks in comparison to the Republican creed, the party platform, and of course the state and uh, federal constitutions, and at the basic level are God-given unalienable rights, you know, they'll say, yes, there's no problem with this legislation. If there is a problem, they're going to point it out and say, no, because of this, it's not good. We, we don't recommend it. We recommend uh, our Republicans vote against it. It's a way for the party to keep track of its own, mainly. And for too long, it's been really difficult. Uh, there's been no real mechanism to have uh, legislation looked at by real people. We can't trust the politicians, obviously. They've been spending money like water for uh, how long now? Billions and billions that uh, wasted and going to their cronies. And we need to stop it. This is a good way to do it. Uh, in fact, uh, I was talking the other day and telling somebody, I think this could wind up being more Tea Party than the Tea Party if it is applied and gets the notice and attention it deserves. Uh, now, I'll try to be a little quicker about this. Uh, the purpose of the RAC, like I said, is to look at the legislation, determine if it meets those uh, goals, the stated goals, that is, in writing, you know, that the Republican Party has, in addition, uh, of course, to common sense. Uh, where will the RAC lead? Uh, hopefully, it will expand the concept to other county Republican parties, and they will also take a look at the legislation that comes down the pipe. Uh, this could uh, give the politicians in uh, the General Assembly, the proper impression that you know there's mounting opposition to this or that legislation as it comes down. Uh, this is something I think would be really good in stopping some very bad legislation, essentially, again, acting like a check valve. The more county parties that participate and give feedback through this type of mechanism, I think, uh, will be, uh, like I said, very effective. Um, I'm hoping, too, that this sort of uh, involvement by the local party will lead to greater citizen participation uh, you know get the conversation outside the General Assembly don't let them be the only ones talking about what this legislation does or does not do a lot of us got a lot of sense and probably more so than the majority of the legislators we can look at it and tell us tell if it's uh, good or bad you know we can compare it to written law and determine if it fits within the constitutional boundaries. So that's another good thing. It will uh, essentially be putting uh, our money where our mouths are. We'll be you know, involved in it at that level and, uh, and let people know that in the Republican Party as opposed to the Democrat Party, we actually hold to our standards and hold our own people, make them pay attention you know, to what our basic underlying principles are. Uh, what it does not do, it does not promote certain legislation. I understand uh, 
by implication, if it's found that such and such uh, piece of legislation does, you know, they don't have a problem with it, you got by implication there is a sort of promotion of that legislation. But it's not meant to actively promote legislation. That's one thing I was concerned about, and I've talked it over with Steve quite a bit, and talked it over with some other people. And that's very clear uh, as far as their mission is concerned. Uh, they're not trying to push any politician's legislative agenda. That's just not part of it. It's going to stick to its basic function. It also does not take the place of the executive committee in Lexington County. That was another concern some people had. And uh, they don't have a voice until the executive committee approves of their findings. And then that allows uh, Steve to speak as a party chairman or other people to uh, read their report as an official document from the Lexington County Republican Party. So there are safeguards in place. It's not usurping any power. And uh, it, again, you know, gets the word out on what we think. And it allows a group of people who are willing, you know, to take a lot of their own time and look at this legislation to report back and uh, let the executive committee know what they found. Uh, like I said, uh, Steve Isom created it, came up with the idea as part of his uh, platform running for uh, Lexington County Party Chairman, which he won, and uh, of course that gave a mandate for it and he followed through with it. Uh, some of the members present, uh, I'd like to acknowledge them. Uh, Corey Norris, David James, Mike Green, and this Bill Cracker, is that right? And did, did I miss, uh, did I miss anybody who's here? Okay. Uh, also, Gary Taylor is a chairman. Uh, Bill Rentiers, who would have been here today, but he had to work. Uh, Lyman Whitehead and Joyce Mises. Is that all the uh, members? Robert My, Schaefer. And Robert Schaefer. <clears throat> I knew I was missing somebody. Joyce Mises. But, uh, Joyce Mises. Joyce, yeah. Okay, I, I mentioned her. But uh, these are really good people, and uh, I went to one of the meetings uh, uh, the other day, and they really do go through a piece of time, they read it, they understand it, and they give their opinions on it, and it, it works. And uh, if good for the people who are here and the others who aren't, uh, give a little round of applause. <laughs> I think we've got a good thing here. Uh, if you got any questions about it, uh, like I said, we've got some members here. Ask them or ask me, I'll tell you what I know. And uh, I'll... I'll you know, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Virginia's got something. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Lee, what does the acronym RAC stand for? Okay, Republican Adherence Committee, referring to whether okay. it adheres or not to the party platform and creed and such. And did I hear correctly that you've already um, in contact, the group's been contacted or she's been contacted by other counties who want to model? Yeah, uh, the, the organization structure, yeah, which I, mean, I think is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. There's already interest. Uh, it's already got a, a few uh, members of the general assembly upset. So they're doing something. <laughs>